rest is as ever overwhelmed by your killing fate. You dangle above a dark precipice, one move away from falling. Another watches your body while it is possessed by the night. You do not dream alone. Dark dreams? I think I can guess. Visions of blood on your hands. The blood in your veins, perhaps. For all the gifts Baal's children inherit, a peaceful night's sleep is not among them. The dreams alone do not concern me. It is what waking deeds they might inspire. Are you truly your own master? What is it you feel when father's dreams come calling? There is one certain way. I hold it in my hand. This is your father's true legacy. Not his children, but the fear they plant in us. The savagery it blossoms into. In another time, with another of your kind, we found a better way. I would dearly like to find it again. Whatever path you choose, I fear it will lead you to the same point. The same enemy. Those of your kind. Orin. I am sure you already know that so long as she lives, she will never stop hunting you. It might be that you have to turn and face her. You cannot change that. All you can choose is how you meet her. As another bloodied child of Baal? Or as yourself? All I can offer is the promise that, should you choose to do so, you will not meet her alone. For now, take what rest you can. I will watch over you this night. I suppose you do not. Sleep well. No more dreams await you in sleep this night. Only the warm knowledge that indeed you are not alone.